Hello guys and girls and welcome back to the next episode of City Skyline with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm excited for this episode, excited and nervous because so much stuff is going to change in this episode. As we can see here, look, we are right at the border of our map. This is where the trains spawn and come in and they head all the way down this wiggly line here that ends up uh, it goes wiggles along there, wiggles along there, wiggles along there. That's, that's the top way to get in. And it joins up to our train roundabout down here. And this one wiggles along here, wiggles along here. We're backing up, backing up. Look at all that. All these cargo trains all over the place. Look at them. There's so many of them. So I've been asking you guys and girls for suggestions. And you've been leaving them in the comments about what to do about our train lines. And... I would say most of you do agree that we need to do something, that we need to separate out uh, the train lines that we have to keep the cargo separate from everything else, which I agree with. That's what we need to do. I reckon once we get the cargo stuff separate from everything else, it will mean that our passenger trains will work a lot better. Now, it was also pointed out that, of course, with your trains, if we come here to our Jiggery Pokery Hub, we've got our big train section here we've got allow intercity trains so we can turn that off and that will stop trains coming from outside the city in um to that particular hub which may be helpful on certain circumstances but at the moment we're going to leave all of those on how many passengers does that take 553 i mean there's lots of people using let's have a look there's a fire over in the park uh what are we looking at here Ten thousand or more a week are using it and almost it's over 800 not quite a thousand tourists are using it so we could actually turn off the external ones it probably wouldn't make a huge amount of difference so some of the suggestions we had were to do with like these little things here that i was talking about before these uh these little in and out parts that i've got so for instance like this one here comes down to my hub uh, you can't turn obviously keep it as inner city here because the cargo goes in and out outside the city a lot um yeah there was somebody sent me a wiki article to do with now what was it called flying junctions yeah to do with this sort of hub uh, this sort of junction here which is fantastic you need a lot of space and you need enough space to fit in one of the long trains because we've got assets oh it's time this time there we go. I don't want to remove the assets of the long trains we've got. I'd like to keep them in and fix the problem. Now, to put a proper flying junction in here, basically it would mean that you've got a route that you can take in and out and use one-way rails. It looks very cool, but you need a lot of space. Um, so we may use one of those, I'm thinking, uh, when we get to the edge of the map. We may do something with that um we'll see anyway we'll see whether that, that whether that will fit in there or not we'll come to that uh, let's get round here so the other thing is is to separate the cargo uh totally from this line here so this will only take passengers that's that's what i was thinking about so at the beginning here uh where are we down here we've got this one here that comes in and the other one where is it here we go here's the other one where where all the train no it's not there anyway you get the point where all the train lines come in we basically put a separate line coming off and if this line here doesn't connect to any cargo hubs no cargo trains will go down there they will always just automatically go off on the other rail so we could have a separate rail that runs along the side just for the cargo it could wiggle along all the way and then we could set up a cargo transfer hub and i think that's what we're going to do we're going to have a cargo transfer hub in this area here somewhere um, we've got this sort of set up here. We, we can repurpose this area. It never really took off as an industrial area like I was hoping it would. Um, so we can repurpose this. Um, and we can have the cargo come in, drop off, and then get transferred. And then it can go to a separate line, which would then go off to our separate cargo hubs. That That is something we can do. And then that would mean this main line here would only ever um, have uh, passengers. So I'm thinking we'll start off by doing that, first of all. So, and then we'll sort of we'll chip away at this problem a bit at a time. So let's see how we can do this. First of all, I'm going to run a line all the way along here. Uh, yep, it goes up there, all the way along there. And we're going to bring it in to over here. And then we're going to work on uh, something to do with that, first of all.
So we've got the external line coming up to here at the moment. Now, I'm just looking. I mean, I don't necessarily want to... We don't need to do a transfer station of everything here, like I've seen other people do. And we spoke about this before, where we have a cargo train terminal here, only connected to the outside. Then we have a road running around the middle, where the trucks come out of this cargo station with the cargo, go around the road, and join another cargo station the other side. Um, and the trains go off to the internal section. I don't know whether I need to do that or not. We can always add that later if we need to, but I'm just looking around here at what other cargo stations we've got. So we've got this one here that basically we need to join up to this external line, so that won't be too bad. As we move along into our city, we've got this cargo station here. This is the one that's right in the middle of the city. That could be fine because the lines can go underneath this one and join. Um, then if we follow this along, we've got this one over here, which is on the outskirts. Do you remember we had... <clears throat> Excuse me, we had the farms and stuff over here and we've got all this ore works But again, that is on the outskirts of the city. So we can easily join that up to this line The ones that might be more difficult are these ones down here. We've got this cargo hub that comes in here and That takes cargo over to one which is let's put this on so I can easily see where is it? Here it is. Here it is. Right in the centre there. So these two will be more difficult to attach to. But, you know, I mean, we could run the line round the outside. And I think that is it as far as cargo hubs go. That isn't being used at all. That's a passenger one. That's a passenger one. That's the one. Oh, no, that's a passenger one. Yeah, that's it. So that's all we really need to attach to at the moment. And then if we need to run lines anywhere else, we can do that. So what I'm thinking of doing... It's just attaching to those first and then seeing if we need to have a transfer station attached at all. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete all of this line going along here. We're not going to come down here. So that's that's not going to be used at the moment. And that then doesn't need to go up to here and attach again. So we're going to take all of this away. Let's go underground and delete this. Is that an above ground piece? It is. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Yep, excellent. So we may slightly change the orientation of this, but we'll see. Where's the line gone? There it is. So we don't need this bridge. We don't need this coming across here. That's all going to go. Click, 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 click. There's some underground stuff there. Let's get rid of that. So that goes around here and attaches to there, doesn't it? That's it. So that one is now no longer attached. So we can now attach this. If we turn off that, get this one here. Let's see. So if we go... That's the one I want. We just go like that and attach that to there. That's fine. Good. Um, has this got... I oh, don't really need that wiggle there. I don't necessarily need people slowing down, do I? So let's... Let's go like that. Good. So, now if we want to... So, basically, they can come off there. We've got cars. They can join up. They can go wherever they like this side of the map. Plus, we have that cargo coming in. Then, we basically want that to connect up to this one in here. So, these lines that come here can, can go underground. I mean, there's two lines to go each way. So, if we delete... Yep, that one's the connection there. That one's the connection there. Let's just do that so it gets rid of any trains that are waiting to go anywhere. And then if we run this one underground... Yep, there we go. Uh, let's put on the snap. Excellent. So if we go page down... In fact, we could go along a little bit more. Oh, actually, there's another tunnel there of a road. If I go page down... Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. Okay, let's do that again. Let's go from there, page down, get underneath. Can I go straight across? Is it going to let me if I go page down again? It's going to be hard, there's not enough room. Page down again, doesn't matter how many times I go page down, I'm not going to do it. Okay, we need, <laughs> need to start this a little bit further back. I mean, in fact, we've got this tunnel here. Do we even need to come above ground? I don't think we do. If we stay underground... Can you let me get underground, please? There we go. Um, I'm going to leave that wiggle in there because, if I remember rightly, we needed that in. Okay, I've gone page down a bit further, so now I can go across. Okay, good. So, if we come out, where are we trying to get to? Up over here somewhere. Let's just bring that up here and then page up, just so we can see where we are. 
Oh, it didn't go up. I want it higher. And page up again. Is that above the ground? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that brings it up to there. So we can now run, if we want, this line can sort of connect to that. And we could we could actually make this one here, one of those flying junctions that uh, I was talking about that we had on the wiki. So I may, I may just look at this and then come back to you to make sure I get it right. So we've got the lines coming in here, actually. And then we'll take a look at our other cargo cargo uh, hub that we've got. So we've got this line coming in here, just so we can see them. We've got this one coming in here. And then we're going to have another one going along here. That's basically where we're going to put our flying junction. And thank you for the person that sent me that. Sorry, I haven't noted your name down, but I'd never seen it before. It looks very good. It looks very good. So this one here... Um, let's have a look. It's got a line that goes off and also does passengers and things. So that passenger line may need to... Well, that's going to stay there. Let's have a look. So that's connecting to that. that. Yeah, okay. That's connecting to all of that. So this will need to be moved around a bit and see what we can do. We've got plenty of space over here. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is... Let's get deleting some stuff here. Let's delete any lines that come off there that connect that hub. Uh, connect that new, 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 new. Connect that thing to there. We don't need that. This is going to move to over here. We're going to have a road coming off of here. Um, let's just we're going to we're going to sort of plunk some basic stuff down, and then we'll so we we'll sort of go like that, and then we can always rejig it later. The main thing today is to get all the the cargo stuff working. Okay, so there's now no cargo stuff on that line there. That's just passengers. So that needs to connect to here. Yep, yeah, that's fine. So let's run this line over there. In fact, if we go straight across here, let's have a look. That can go underneath. That can come across here. Yeah. I'll go straight across. I'm trying not to lose the. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to lose the rocks and things we've got. So if I go like that, is that going to connect up to there somewhere? There. There we go. Excellent. And then that's going to connect up to that line. So, in fact, that could come across at a slightly different angle. Boom, boom, boom. Let's, yep, we're on the curve. Let's curve this around to here. Let's go page under. Page down, I mean. <laughs> going, going under with the page down button. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, hang on. What's going on there? Let's go back to page down again. Let's go page up. Yeah, there we go. It's come through, and that's going to be the third connection. Good. Right, so let's see if we can work this out as we go along. So our other line is going to come along here, and we want to sort of we want enough room to sort of split this off. So I'm going to come out a little bit further, and that one's coming out to over here. Yeah, well, I'll work on that wonky bit in a minute. There we go. Right. So we want to be able to use our one-way lines to connect this. So what we're going to do is we're going to have... Our main line is going to carry on and go straight through. So actually, let's delete that and line that up. I've not practiced making this, so we're, I'm sort of following the pictures on the wiki as we go along. And then coming off of this side, we want a line to split off to go down this line here. So if I use, I mean, we want to make this long enough that any long trains that get on this can, uh, let's go like that, have plenty of room on there. In fact, I'm going to bring it from right down here, like that. So that's going to connect up to there. Yeah, 
So if they want to come off, they can go that way and they can go down there. If they want to come back up this way... Yeah, I don't think I'm doing this right. They can go up there like that. If they want to go past, they can. That doesn't look right to me. Hang on, let me just think what I'm doing here. Okay, so I've just been fiddling around trying to make this uh, flying junction. And this is the idea. I'm sure it isn't going to stay looking like this. But this is where the one-way rails can come in handy. So if we follow this along, we've got the two lines. And then if you want to go left or right, instead, instead of these piddly little y junctions that we used to do you've now got a whole extra round so for instance they want to go straight on they go up here they go over there nothing's going to stop them they carry on and they join again up here if from this direction they want to go right they go along here they branch off and they join over here and then they carry on down again and the same from this direction if they want to go left they can go up here they can go along they join that and off they go this one over here if they want to go right, they go up there, they go round, and they join over to this. And then finally, from this direction, again, straight on. They're going underneath this time, joining up to there, going straight on. If they wish to go left, come along here and go left. So, I mean, the, these bits here, I mean, there's, they, they've got to join up somewhere, basically. Um, hopefully, these are big enough. There's enough room that if a train is waiting... So, for instance, if a train is waiting here to get on... It's only, you know, there's enough room there to take one of the big trains. There's enough room here to take one of the big trains. There's certainly enough room here to take a big train. So, between sort of each of the junction points, there's a lot of room. That should work quite well. And then they can get, uh, let's press the right keys, and they can get under here and come up and join this. We kept that joined up. Yeah, there we go. So, they can join that there. Uh, so, that'll be good. It is a dead end one, but that's fine. You know, that's going to. You know, we could loop that around, couldn't we? Um, it would mean destroying a lot of other stuff that's here. Let's leave that one like that for now, anyway. So that's our first flying junction. It could be tidied up better, but we're just going to leave that as it is for now. So cargo is then going to come along here and join up with this. And then my cargo will come out. The lorries will take it over here and drop it over there. So probably don't need to mess around with this road, do we, at the minute? I can't remember which way in and out they come. I was going to put a one-way road. Uh, in fact, if we come along here and look at this one. Yes, yeah, so we've got the one-way road. They come in and then go round the back via the train line. So we could just copy that again, couldn't we? So they're going to come in here and then go out here. So we can then join them up to this road again there. Possibly. Let's do that. One way in. And that's one way out. It's going to add a junction in. Whether that's going to be a problem or not, I don't know. We'll, we'll leave it like that anyway and we'll just see how it goes. It's the train I'm concentrating on at the moment. So if we do that, we can sort of fiddle with the other things as we go along. And let's add... Oh, actually, there's a power line there that's not connecting to anything let's use that that needs to come across to there that needs to come across to there excellent so that'll do that okay so that's that one connected let's unpause the game so that kicks in and stops flashing then we basically need to connect up and uh, let's close that down and just have our train showing up if you don't mind this one down here and that one that's over there. So I'm thinking... I mean, that train line. Let's take a look. Comes all the way down here. It cuts across the back here. It goes under there. I mean, we could add in here some sort of passenger train at some point. We don't have anything. But I want to disconnect that from here if we can. Hmm. I'm just wondering if for now... If we just do this... There we go. So that's connected over here. Man, where does that line go? It goes that way. It goes up here to this one. And then it carries on to passenger stuff. What I don't want to do is ruin my city by not having enough cargo to get around. So how are we going to do this then? We need to basically... And then that line carries on up around there, doesn't it? This cargo hub needs to go. I think that's a bad place 
for a cargo hub. So shall we just delete that one? I think overall our cargo problems are going to get sorted because it's all going to flow much better. So if we delete that from there, um, we'll leave that line coming up this way. But we're going to not connect it to this section here. So if we go... And this is passengers over here. Yeah, that needs to connect. So basically that needs to connect. This little bit doesn't need to come down there. So if we get rid of this... Let's get rid of all of uh, that. Is that. Underground? New. No. Change all this. There we go. That That's the cargo line. I want this one to connect to this one over here. So if we get that off of there like that, that's just a normal line. So if we go... Let's put the snapping-y thing on. Let's go straight. Uh, let's go a little bit further forward, then go down. Yep, excellent. And then if we go underground, we should be able to... You show me that. Thank you very much. I want this to connect to this one. To there. Like that. Yeah, that'll do. It slows down a bit, but it's going to slow down a bit to get up to here anyway, so that's not the end of the world. Good. So that is now separate from everything else. How are we going to do this one to get connected to the line? Where does the line even come in? <laughs> Miles over here. Here it is. I mean, I don't want to add another flying junction. We're going to end up with a bypass here, I'm sure, at some point. <laughs> trying to sort of solve the problem of keeping our, our passenger line connected so this one came down here it did of course come down here and go through here as well which is very bad design and then went off and connected over here so what i've done is i've got a little y section here where this goes up uh connects to that station it also then underground comes over here to this station that goes up and down the roads as you can see there i quite like that uh, and then scoots underneath there and a the tunnel comes up and joins to this. I've gone across the road there. We'll see how that goes. I may just make that go over. So hopefully that's okay. Well, that actually means that all of this can go down here. Um, yeah, that can go. There we go. So that isn't connected yet. We need to run this line. I'm trying to think where to go. I mean, at the minute, I've started running. Let's have a look. Uh, this line here, there it is, our cargo line. We've got like a little bypass here, which hopefully trains will use. We can fiddle with that if we need to. So this line comes along and comes out here. Yep, yeah, nothing's connected to that yet. There we go. Let's put a bit more in so we can spot it easily. So we need to get that somehow to connect down to over here. Um, I, I mean, I know some of you are probably typing in the comments as we speak. Just do a massive... Tunnel underground. I do try to avoid doing huge tunnels. Um, but what I might do is, is make this a one-way loop. So we split off from here. <laughs> I've lost it. Where is it? It's over here in the field. We split off from here and go one way. So we go one way along here, down through that, and then one way back out again. And then if anybody else, we want to have any other cargo things, they can connect to that one-way section. I think that's a good idea. It's going to be a little bit finickety, so I'm just going to do that bit off camera.
okay so that's the big cargo loop in it probably looked quite confusing but let's start from the beginning let's run along and have a look what have we got oh that's a road that's not working anywhere there's also another train connection somewhere we're going to need to connect or disconnect where's my train lines <laughs> i can't see where they are where are they coming in yeah here we go that's it so this one splits off here and that goes along around the outside the outside one is the cargo one there we go so that goes all the way along here all the way along here it splits off up to this direction over here goes through this um yeah we're gonna need a bypass on there aren't we let's see if we can sort of have that come off over here can we split one off there is there going to be enough space let's have a look let's grab one of them yes there is okay excellent so if we come across there like that is that going to go in for us let's go straight across space ready occupied what by there we go so we've got a bypass there a temporary one for now like we said we can work on a lot of these things so that's going to go through there then that's going to come under here and then we've got our flying junction and if they wish they can come down to our cargo hub uh car keep calling them cargo hubs you know what i mean cargo train terminal it can then carry on up here we've got this one here with a bypass then it goes around the mountain again i've tried to sort of follow the terrain i haven't just sort of gone anywhere that one goes up to the passenger here we go yeah this is the one we want that goes underneath goes through some fields follows the terrain round the mountain and then it splits off and we've got one way in so that goes there that literally goes underground all the way to where it goes there it goes along here it's like the longest underground tunnel i to be honest i said i was never going to do something like that i did it <laughs> <laughs> I did it for this one. It goes along there, along there. It loops around there and then comes up over here. There we go. And then it goes through that one and then it goes up here. Up the side, up the side. Underground there. And I think that one comes out. There we go. All the way along. Comes out here. Joins back to the main line again. And I think, pretty sure, that is all of our external... Oh no, we've got more external train connections up here so we've got cargo coming in on this as well so how's that gonna work we need to have another connection don't we well technically this connection coming in here does not connect to any other cargo hub so or maybe it does because this train here where's he going oh look there we go does that mean oh no i can remove that vehicle okay uh let's follow that one and see where he's going because I was thinking these should not be connected to any other cargo hub. So any cargo trains would disappear. But obviously I'm wrong because this guy is coming in and he's still going. Let's see where he ends up. Let's have a quick sip of tea while he's driving along. He's going to sit in a traffic jam. Okay. No, it's okay. He despawned. So that's fine. He disappeared. He couldn't make its way to the destination he wanted to get to, which is good. So technically, the only way cargo trains can come in now is this one down here. So at the minute, there may be a little bit of blockage as things try and come in and out. Do you know what I need to do? I need to have this connect on this side <laughs> so they're not stopping each other like this. Uh, yeah, let me, just, uh, let me just change that slightly. There we go. That should work better. It's a bit further along. They can literally come straight off the side. And go up and in that way. There we go. And then anybody going... What are you doing here? We may actually need to do something a bit different with this junction. For trains coming in and trains going out. Because of course they're still coming along here. Yeah, we need to do like a little one way thing, don't we? So one's coming up, don't cross that way. Or well, we can change that. So if we just pause that. If we make that one way going in. And then the one coming out... If we come along here and say, let's take it from back here a little bit. And go like that. And just have that along there somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. I don't like the way it, it jumps like that when you do a connection. Yeah, let's go like that. 
let's see. I can always move that, that line in a bit, can't I? Uh, let's just move that around a bit like that. There's a few lines that need sort of changing slightly. It's the way it curves. Okay, so when they're coming in, they go that way. Yep, and when they're coming out, they come off there. Let's keep an eye on this and see how that goes. But that should be a lot better. I think what it is, is they pause when they leave. Yeah, trains pause to leave. Yeah, well, it's going well. Every single cargo train that comes in, like this one here, will always go off to the left. So that tells me that there is nothing connected cargo-wise to our main line. It is just passengers, which is fantastic. So let's follow one of these trains in. There we go. Let's line this up so we get a good view. Let's follow this along as it goes through the new section that we've set up. And hopefully now this is solving our problem for the traffic. The only things that are going along on this main line now... Whoa, look at that. That goes up quite high. Is cargo trains. Everything else is all passengers on the other line. Here we go. So it's going to go around the mountain. Then it's going to get to our flying junction, which we've set up as well. What I'm going to do is, probably off camera, I'll go along all these train lines. I'll line them all up nice and do that sort of thing. I just wanted to get the infrastructure in place. So he knew it was working. There we go. Passenger trains backing up a little bit. There may still be a few cargo trains further in the city on that line. Because they don't tend to despawn straight away. They seem to um, wait until they get quite close to their destination. And then they despawn after that. So there we go. There's another cargo train going past. Just what we want to see. There we go. Some are using... Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, is he going to bypass this now? Is he heading into the city? If he is, that's good. Oh, we need to raise that up, don't we? Yep, I'll get on that. So that's now going to connect to this tunnel. Yep, into the city. There's enough space that if trains are waiting, they're not going to block anything. So then he's going to come up over here. So yeah, see, look, there's a few cargo trains in the middle of this. They will despawn, as we saw before. Okay, let's make sure this is working. It looks like it. Trains are heading off in different directions. Yep, he's come round up round this way. So there's probably a few places where I could sort of curve this better. Yeah, he's heading off down here. It looks to me like this is working really well. So after a period of time, I'm going to let this run for a bit. And hopefully all the cargo trains will disappear. And all we'll be left with on here is passenger trains. Okay, so here we are at the uh, start where the trains come in. Trains do a weird thing when they come in. They come in on the wrong side. Look at this guy here. Is he coming in? Yep. This one here. And then they switch over. I don't know why they do that. It's very, very odd. But anyway, I've changed my junction here at the beginning. I've made another flying junction. Um... But it's still a three-way. We've got the, the, the line here, the line there, and then this line here. So this is actually set up and working really well. What I've done is I've made sure that the lines can split off like this. So nobody's crossing over anybody. And where they join up as well, and where they join up here. So I've just been looking at that. Um, and that's working really well. The other place I need to just check uh, is here. So for instance, if you look at this line... You see how we've got this? Let's go to this round. We've got this bypass that goes up over here for coming backwards and forwards. They have to cross over. So somebody... Let's have a look. Is a train going to come along and, and bypass? Here comes one. Let's see where this one goes, whether he's going to stop or not. So basically what I'm going to do when I show you this is I'm going to go and check the other flying junction that we made as well to make sure that's set up so nobody crosses anybody else. Here we go. Let's have a look. Yes. So if there was a train coming down here at the moment, um, he would have to stop because of that. And I'm wondering whether if we, yeah, split this off here and have, let's just let these two go past. So trains basically go on the left. There we go. So let's delete that and we can, let's let him go on his way. There we go. We can make use of these one-way tracks again. So if he wants to take the bypass, what we're going to do is we're going to split it off there. We're going to go page up. Can I get up and over there somewhere? There we go, like that. There we go. So he can now come up and over the top. If you look at the rail, it just splits off, joins up over there. But then if they're coming the other way... There we go. 
that can just join in on there. And they won't get in each other's way now. So that's not the straightest line. But you get the idea of what I mean. He can split off, go up and over the top. And they can actually cross over there, aren't they? So let me just change this. In fact, this one here needs to go around this way. Instead, there we go, and split off. And even though it let me attach it there, it doesn't show the rail connection. So what I've just been doing is monkeying this around a bit with a move it mod until that shows up. There we go, like that. So now he can split off and join there without crossing anybody, and he can go around that way without crossing anybody. So that sort of thing, I need to make sure that this junction is set up correctly so that can work. And I think we have the main component of our cargo network set up. I'm just taking a look along the railway line and it's working really well. There is no cargo trains anymore. It'll be on the left-hand rail. So that is step one for sorting out our rail network. There we go. It splits off over there. Step two is making an inner city and uh, in intra-city and uh, trans-city. I don't know what the two words would be called now. So we want this line here to be just for inner city trains. And then we want a place where people can come in from outside the city um, and join on an, an inner city train. So it just splits up the passenger rail network a bit because there's so many passenger trains coming and going, as we can see, that it's still filling up the middle. It's not as bad as it, it was, obviously, because we've removed um, all of the cargo trains. I'm just wondering as well, in a couple of places like this, we could have, because like that's stopping that going there, we could use one-way rails to come down here go through there come out the other side and connect up where does it connect up over here yeah i bet we could do that in fact that is probably a change we could make really quickly but it didn't need a lot of space but anyway yeah we're gonna have to do that next episode this episode's got really long but it was worth it our train network is humming hum i would say it's humming 80 percent and to get that last 10 percent oh my goodness there's a fire at the football ground that's terrible just to get that last 10 percent um they're still coming in and landing look we're fleeing quick <laughs> to get that last 10 percent of it running really well we just need to get that inner city train thing sorted out so we can have that separate we'll, we'll look at that in the next episode so thank you very much for your suggestions i'm sorry i can't uh, mention the person that told me about the flying junctions um i looked through all of my comments again and again and just couldn't find their name but thank you very much your help that was uh, really appreciated hit the big b with a tea stain to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode of city skylines tomorrow there we go there goes the fleet of fire helicopters and we will see you then thanks for watching take care bye bye